Hey, how you doing today, ma'am? Pretty good, thank you. Welcome investors, welcome investors. How you doing today? Hey, what's up? You having a good day? You? Pretty good. What's up, Mr. Bill? All right. Welcome investors. Uh, we got a pretty... What's up, buddy? Good to see you, man. How are you? Pretty good. Yourself? Top notch. Hell yeah. That's good. Great attitude. Is there any other way to be? I don't think so. I don't either. It's called misery. Yeah. Right. Okay, Kingdom Investors, we got a pretty quick order. We're going to pick up off of a few things we were talking about on the previous videos. If you guys have not seen the previous videos, you definitely want to check it out. I dropped a lot of key nuggets and some things that are secrets that the average person is not aware of that can help you excel that can help you elevate your current position in life and if you're not growing what are you doing you have to be growing guys you absolutely have to be growing growing meaning you have to be building you have to be planning you have to be working on something you have to wake up every day and have an agenda you have to wake up with a goal you have to wake up with a purpose with a plan most importantly a plan guys Anytime you don't have a plan, it's not that you're lost, but anytime you don't have a plan, guys, you're wasting time. I'm going to pick up on the last subject I was talking about. We were talking about laps. I gave the example, see the package is kind of rough, we've been grabbing it, touching it, let's go ahead and get one that's haven't been handled so much. What up fellas? Y'all doing alright today? Okay, chocolate chip cookie dough. This is the right item. 24 count, they want 12 count. They want the big one, 12 count. Personally, guys, I don't think that one was available. 12 count, it is. Right on top. Okay, back to what we were talking about. If you do not wake up with a plan, with a goal, with a purpose, then you are wasting valuable time in your life. Right. Bro, bro. Okay. Right hand, yeah. Right hand, got gotcha. you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, bro. Blessings. Thank you. For some reason, time is moving faster. It seems like the hours and the days are going by faster. The years are going by faster. You don't have time to waste and sit around twiddling your thumbs and running around in circles. When you guys begin to establish goals 
and strategies to execute those goals, what will happen is, excuse me, sir, you'll begin to build your life brick by brick. You will begin to build your purpose day by day. Investment over investment over investment. How you doing again, Jose? You have to establish a goal, a plan, and a purpose. When you establish those three, it will motivate you to get out of bed. It will motivate you to invest your money. It will motivate you to stop wasting your time. How you doing today, love? 5160, we need some shrimp. I don't see them. I got a question real quick. I don't want to waste your time. I don't see the 5160 shrimp. Do we have two pounds available? Tell me in the frozen? Um, yeah, they wanted the farm raised, medium peel, divine white. They wanted it from the uh, thaw it out. If that's not something we can do, I'll see if I can try to supplement it. In fact, this is what I'll do. If you show me which bag is the accurate bag, two pounds of it. Well, it's a pound and a half bag. It's right here. Pound and a half? Okay, so they won't be able to get two pounds. What's up, bro? Good to see you, man. God bless you, man. Good to see you, family. Good to see you, too, man. Uh, I didn't tell you, man, but you're going viral, man. Um, we'll be talking about it pretty soon. Okay. We'll, we'll probably go back and do another video of the meat area. Okay. Yeah, people think that you're very real professional and they like your energy, so we're going to feed off of that. Cool. Appreciate it. Mr. Appreciate Trevor. Appreciate you, too, man. Thank you, bro. All right. You, good evening? you too, brother. Thank you. Yes, sir. So what I'm going to do, guys, that's going to take a few minutes to throw out. Oh, you know what, Mr. Trevor? I got a question for you, bro. Yeah. What can I find this right here? This guy right here pretty much know everything in the store at. When I first came to the store, he was the main person, my go-to guy. As you can see, guys, I was nowhere near the aisle. This milk chocolate truffle candy bar. And like I was saying, guys, you gotta understand, if you wake up in the morning and don't have a purpose or a goal that you have preset the day before, the week before, the month before, you're waking up with no purpose every day. Oh, thank you, bro. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Appreciate it very much, Jamal. Yes, sir. You have a great day, man. You too. Right hand only. Thank you, bro. You're welcome. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and um, scan this off of our app. The customer is looking for two pounds of the 5160. The lady is going to throw it out for us. So we just want to get it scanned off the app. So we can close it out and stay out of time violation. Because as you can see, I think we're in time violation right now. Which is not a big deal, guys. Because I can get that cleared up in the next two orders. And I believe my average scanning and picking is somewhere around 61 and 70 seconds. And I don't worry about the competition of how many items per second do you scan. My main concern is how many customers were satisfied with their order. 
How many people sent you five stars? How many people text back and said thank you? So we'll take this few minutes real, real quick, guys, and we'll just go ahead and prepare our bags. We only have a few items. Most likely, we can put everything in one bag. So let's get our two bags prepared. And from there, we'll just be waiting for our 5160 shrimp to sort of thaw out. Yeah, just maybe I wanted to die there. And the main reason why I decided to hang around and wait, guys, is because the customer wanted two pounds. The lady behind the counter, she told me that the shrimp only comes in a one and a half pound bag. And as I look towards the top of that counter, apparently I think that shrimp is ready. I'm gonna give her a few seconds because she's with another customer. Thank you. You got a piece of plastic? Is this me right here? Huh? This me? You're super fast, thank you. You got a people a uh, piece of plastic I can drop this shrimp bag in? The the normal plastic you guys use? She took this she thank you so much. She was able to take this shrimp out the freezer, thaw it out, weigh it up, bag it up, and the amount of time that it took me to go to the front of the store to get that candy bar. I appreciate that expedited service. Okay guys, we kind of lost track in this video as far as what we were talking about. And at this point, we have to bring our focus back into bringing and delivering the customer their items. So on the next two minutes that we have between now and checkout, I just want to remind you guys, excuse me, sir. I just want to remind you guys that you got to have a checklist. You got to have goals. You got to have a purpose for why you come out and why you're going, mainly why you wake up in the morning. Excuse me. But why do you come to these stores and shop? Are you, are you just shopping to make a few fast bucks? Are you absolutely dependent on this app to pay your bills? And if this is something that you're doing, then you absolutely need to engage in every single video. Because in these videos, I'm giving away free nuggets. I'm hiding free wisdom inside these videos that can absolutely change the dynamic of your future. All it takes is the right steps and an accurate direction. And eventually you'll find yourself in a different position, different place, and a different status of life. But you absolutely, 100%, have to wake up with a goal and a purpose. If you're just waking up and getting up whenever you want to get up, if you just get up because the alarm clock went off, what's up, big bro? Thank you, man. If you're just getting up because the alarm went off, guys, and whenever you get around to it, you go make money, what's up, man? All right? You're lost. You're lost. And the reason why I'm saying you're lost because there is no light at the end of that tunnel. The sparks that you might see in that tunnel are temporarily. You absolutely 100% have to establish a goal. Even if you don't have a strategy to execute that goal. Locate the goal first. When you locate that goal, you can do your research, you can do your study, and you can find out how to bring that goal to pass. You can find out how to birth that vision that's inside of you, but you absolutely 100% have to have a goal. You gotta have a purpose. You have to wake up with a purpose. It's vital. 
teaching you guys is how to invest daily. Every single day you will invest as a kingdom shopper. Every single day you will invest. And you'll find out eventually that your investments will begin to overtake your daily activities and work. You'll find out that your investments on some occasions will be a lot more than you make. Walking around for a few hours getting groceries. How you doing, Mr. AJ? I'm gonna take that milk and put it in the I'm gonna take that milk, sir, and put that in a piece of plastic before I drop it in that paper. It's all good, Mr. AJ. You deserve it. You've been working hard all day. You deserve it. You deserve it, sir. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that, man. Excellent job today, man. Thank you, Mr. Corey. I appreciate you, Mr. AJ. I'm gonna grab one more plastic and just throw these watermelons in there. Okay, guys, we got 10 seconds. You want to make sure that you set a time to wake up and you wake up with a goal. When you wake up with a goal, make sure that goal has a purpose because that purpose will give you ambition. It will motivate you. It will give you fire when you're tired, when you feel like you don't want to do it. But because you have a purpose, you will absolutely override that spirit of tiredness, laziness, or just lack of good sleep. And you will run after your goal because your purpose, your purpose, for that goal it's causing you and giving you strength and for the most part guys once you get out there and you start doing what you have to do that tiredness will go away so we'll continue this conversation most likely on our next video so until next time kingdom shoppers be blessed.